seven. Jim, Sean, Libby, you're on Alex. here. Yep. Hey there. Hi, hey, uh, Alex. Hi, How everyone on the panel. Hello, uh, our guests. Uh, we have an interesting case from a couple different technical aspects uh, to discuss with you. I'll turn it right over to our fellow Matt Cronin, who will walk you through our patient this afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to introduce our case. This is a case of abdominal aortic aneurysm. Next slide. Here are our disclosures. Next slide. Our patient is a 88-year-old male with 6.2-centimeter infrarenal abdominal aortic aneurysm, which was found incidentally uh, last November. He was admitted to hospital for gastroenteritis and was found during his workup. Next slide. His past medical history is significant for uh, hypertension, diabetes, hyperlipidemia. His past surgical history and medications are listed below. Uh, social history uh, is significant for no smoking history and no family history of aneurysms. Next slide, please. On physical exam, he does have a uh, pulsatile non-tender mass. His common femoral and popliteal arteries are palpable bilaterally. Next slide. Here's a 3D reformat image from his CTA. You can see he has a infrarenal abdominal aortic aneurysm, which has a bilobed configuration. The uh, more superior component is about uh, three centimeters. Uh, the more inferior component is 6.2 centimeters. It, uh, since just proximal to the bifurcation, sparing the common iliac arteries. The uh, pre-planning sheet is uh, listed there. Next slide. A couple curve reformatted images showing uh, you know, short proximal neck. You can see that bilobed configuration is a little bit better advantage. And then uh, some images of the proximal neck and the, uh, the superior aneurysm. Next slide. Here's uh, the larger inferior component. 6.2 centimeters, and next slide, please. And finally, the, uh, the distal uh, abdominal aorta. He has uh, relatively small external iliac arteries, nice access vessels, the common femorals uh, had uh, just a small amount of plaque. Next slide. So in summary, we have an 88-year-old male with a 6.2 centimeter bilobed infrarenal abdominal aortic aneurysm, which is asymptomatic. Our plan today is uh, to do, perform endovascular aneurysm repair using a kilt technique. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Uh, I'm going to bring you up to speed on where we are at this point. Uh, we didn't have a lot of axial images there in the interest of time, but there's a fair amount of thrombus uh, in, in that very short infrarenal neck, which variably can be measured at anywhere from 7 to 11 millimeters. And so uh, I, I made the executive decision, I, and I've done this several times in the past, of putting a covered stent in the, in the left renal. It helps mark exactly where the renal is. You can see the wire there. 